what are you wearing? Um, clothes? Yeah, but I mean, didn't you just wear that in your last video? Oh, oh, uh, uh, don't tell me you actually deleted the video you pre-filmed. Uh, well, <laughs> that's exactly what you did, didn't you? I mean, maybe? I can't work with you anymore. I can act. Hey guys, it's Lily, and I'll be doing a requested bookshelf tour. Because I just cleaned it and I want to show it off. Let's go. So all the way up the top, it's just two red bubble boxes and a whiteboard that says notes that I want to use, but I have no idea what to use for. Okay, so let's get on with the good stuff. I'm going to start over here. And first up, we have Twilight and it's the 10th anniversary edition. So the other side is Life and Death and it's by Stephanie Myers. Next we have Between the Lines by Jody Pickle and Samantha Van Leer. I'm sorry if I butchered your names. I don't have a chance to say that guys like every single time I read an author's name. Next we have Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. And if you didn't already know my previous video was a that movie review for Me Before You so go check that out after this video. And if you want to go check out my that movie for that too. Links will probably be in the description. Next we have Illumine by the authors that I always butcher their names like every other author. Amy Cow. Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And next we have, what's it called? <laughs> and next we have Red Queen and Glass Sword by Victoria Aviard. So now we got the first horizontal pile, kind of in this nice fort thing. But these are basically all the paperbacks that I'm keeping. And if you didn't already know, I don't like paperbacks. These are an exception and these are an exception. And this kind of section is just like series that aren't finished, series that I don't have the second books to, a contemporary that's way too big, same thing for this. And, and an impulse buy. So first, at the bottom, we have the paperback versions of The Hunger Games. I'm keeping them because I haven't read The Hunger Games yet, and I haven't seen any of the movies except for Hunger Games, but I've seen it so long ago I don't remember anything. Basically, I want to get to these books sometime very soon, and then binge watch all the movies and give reviews on them. And next we have the Lux series, but I only have Beginnings and Opposition because the book outlet doesn't have the second one. But these are by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And then we have Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. And then we got some John Green books. We got Paper Towns. And we have Let It Snow. He writes one of the short stories. On the tippity top, we have Landline by Rainbow Row. And on the side, we have The Faults in Our Stars. Okay, and next to it, we have the paperback versions of. Vernal Devices and The Moral Instruments by Cassandra Clare. I'm not pulling them all out because I'm sweating right now. So that concludes this shelf. The next shelf is like my fantasy shelf. And at the bottom we have The Daughter of Smoke and Bones Trilogy by Lainey Taylor. And on top we have The Fifth Wave series by Ray Yancey. And the tippy 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 top. We have City of Bones, but this is like the movie motion picture version. Definitely was just Moving on, we have a quart of thorns and roses and a quart of mist and fury by Sarah J. Mass. Next to it, we have two Rochelle Mead books. We have the Immortal Crown and the Glittering Court. And then we just got the Moral Instruments and the Frontal Devices again, but hardcover this time. And at the bottom, I just have the bind up of all the Giver books. I've only read the Giver. And next, this is definitely just because it's pretty and has gold pages. But it's the complete Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. That's a mouthful. And next to it we have The Endgame, The Calling by James Frey and Neil Johnson Shelton. And the last one on that one is Ghost and a Watchman by Harper Lee. So that concludes this side of the bookshelf. Okay, so up here on this side we just have the June, um, like, but call portion of the segment. So I just keep them up here separated so I remember. And then just summer work. So starting on this shelf, we have a book in here that you probably can't see from this angle, but it's We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallach. And then we have a horizontal pile. So at the bottom, we have the Anna and the French Kids series by Stephanie Perkins. And on top, All the Boys I've Loved Before and P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. And then we have this, which is definitely a cover buy for me. It's The Brilliant Light of Amber Sunrise by Matthew Crow. And then on top, we have Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rao. And speaking of Rainbow Rao, let me guys just tell you how great my summer reading list is this year for English. Um, first off, I need to read two books. The first one is on one list, the second one you can either pick from the second list, the first list, 
sure. I'm gonna book. So I printed out the two lists, and I'll look. And um, one of the books that I need to read, like have to, have to mandatory read, is Eleanor and Park. On the second list, we have. Wait for it. Wait for it. A Throne of Glass. This gives me excuse to buy books. This gives me excuse to finally read it. Okay, and on top of that, we got Fangirl, also by Rainbow Rowell, and. The tippy top, we have Soundless by Rochelle Mead. And if you couldn't tell that kind of section with the We Looked Up and the horizontal pile are my hardcovers of Contemporary. So next to it, we have The Wrath of the Dawn and the Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adahi. Next to it, we have Shadow Queen by J.C. Redwine. I'm so dyslexic. C.J. Redwine. And then we have Reign of Shadows by Sophie Jordan. Next we have Assassin's Heart by Sarah Harris. And then we have Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini. At the bottom we have Front Lines by Michael Grant. On top of that we have The Philadelphia Prophecy by Mark Frost. And then on top of that we have Black Widow Forever Red by Margarita Stoholy. And next we have Nightfall by Jay Halpern and Peter Pajawinski. And then we have Uninvited by Sophie Jordan. And lastly we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children in a Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. Beside it we have Dorothy Must Die and The Wicked Will Rise by Danielle Page. Then we have Emerald Green by Kirsten Greer. The last few books are Uglies and Pretties by Scott Westerfield and We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Okay, so first up in this little small corner we have the Divergent movie. Only there because next to it is the Divergent series and it's small enough to fit in there. Now with this fifth horizontal pile we have the Divergent series by Veronica Roth and we have on top of that the Shadow Me series by Tahira Mafi. And next we have the Legend series by Marie Lu. And I love this cover. Love, love, love this cover. And next to it we have the Selection series. But I don't have the last book. But these are by Yara Cast. Here we have the last horse on a pile. At the bottom we have Ruin and Rising series by Leah Bardugo. On top we have the Kiss of Deception series, which I think is actually called The Revenant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. And on top we have Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. And lastly on this shelf we have the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. And lastly and I have Half Bad by Sally Green. Heroes by Scott Westerfield, Margot Lanigan, and Deborah B. Biancoti. Next we have Hexed by Michelle Cry. And then we have Mila 2.0 by Deborah Drizia. Asylum by Madeline Rooks. My True Love Gave to Me. Edited by Stephanie Perkins by all of these wonderful authors. Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. Hungry by H.A. Swine. The Accident Season by Maria Fowley Dooley. And then these ones over here are paperback versions of the Legend series and the Shadow Me series, but I paperbacked them for a project, but I really like them, so I'll probably use them for photo aesthetics for Bookstagram. And on the very bottom shelf over here are books I'm planning on un unhauling. Um, actually, I'm also planning on going through this shelf and the shelf next to it for unhauls. Oh. I'm even considering some of the books here for unhauling, but I'm gonna be unhauling my shelf kind of soon. So yeah, I think I don't know if I'm gonna do a video on that. I don't want to show you guys the books I'm planning not reading. I don't want to like discourage like the authors and that kind of stuff. I'm sure that it's hard to write a book and everything, so I don't I don't think I'm gonna film a video on it. But who knows? So yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day, afternoon, wherever you are. Bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. For more of that book channel, be sure to subscribe to my channel. The button's right there. And follow me on Instagram, Bookstagram, Goodreads, and Twitter. Don't forget to check out the description. I always have some links in there and the music that I use. So if you're ever interested in the music, it's down there. It's also right under the subscribe button, so you can check that out there. And lastly, in about two seconds, my previous two videos will pop up. And you can watch those for more of that book channel. Thank you so much, and bye. Cleaning my bookshelf because it needs to be cleaned. May the cleaning begin. Hey, I'm redoing a that movie review for me before you. And I have a lot to say about it, so I'm really excited about this. I hope it's not too late for a movie review. Non-spoiler section. Overall thoughts, it was really good. I liked it better than the book.